Hey everyone, Dan at Ochoco Bushcraft. Well, I'm out here in uh, the middle of the Ochoco Mountains near some old cinnabar mines. There was actually some old cinnabar mines out here. And uh, this area is pretty well known as far as the mines are concerned. But what a lot of people don't know that uh, go into this back country is hidden down in the trees across the road and away from the cinnabar mines is an old miner's cabin. So I just thought it would be cool to take you guys on a little adventure and uh, show you this old mining cabin hidden down in the trees that uh, most of it is still standing to this day. Okay. So give you guys a little look at the terrain around here. It's pretty spectacular. Just absolutely beautiful. And uh, we're gonna walk back up this hill a little ways. And I'm just gonna give you guys a little, little tour of some of the treasures in the Ochikos because there's actually quite a few awesome little finds like this. absolutely beautiful out here some of the wildflowers Okay guys, we're going to wander up through the trees here, and uh, this is a pretty cool find. Like I said one time there was some cinnabar mines, and I might show those in a, another video for you guys that, you know, can't come to Central Oregon and see places like this. To stop more of these beautiful wildflowers growing out here. Just beautiful country. We're up at a pretty high elevation, too. So, as we come around through the trees here, you can start to see the outline of a log cabin hidden completely inside the forest. You guys see that? There's a window, and right next to it's a door. There it is. Look at that, guys, right here. hidden in the Ochoco Mountains. An old cabin. Now the roof's gone, but all the walls are still intact. Look at them old logs. And we're gonna go in here and check it out. So, window frame right here. We're going right through the doorway. And right on in to the cabin. So we're standing right inside the middle of it. It actually had really high ceilings. And here's the back door.
and then there was a window over here that went into another room. And we'll walk around there in a minute. The other room on that section has fallen down. And I don't know what this was. Maybe some type of a cupboard for food or something to be stored in. But it connects to another little room behind. So we're going to go out the back door. Well, I'm assuming this could be the front door, actually. <laughs> We'd have to ask the owner. But uh, let me back up here and get you guys a view of it from the other side. So this is the other side of the door where we just came out. So I imagine the other side with the windows was probably the front door. And this is probably like the back door since there's no windows. They were looking out the other way. Look at the workmanship on those old logs, those, how they cut those. And that goes right on up a good two, three feet above my head. This is what surprises me is it had a really high ceiling. And around the back here and, and through that little cupboard area, it was like a separate little room. So you can see there was like a doorway here and some kind of a old concrete. Maybe it was a pump house or something. Maybe there was water in there. I don't know. It had its own little windows too. And it had, now this part had a tin roof on it because the roof is still on it. Let's see that up there, guys. This part had an old tin roof. It's interesting. And then the rest of it back here that was on the other side of this kind of fell down. But here we're looking into the cabin again from the window next to that little room. And uh, like I said, there was something here that just completely fell down, part of it. But that is just a treasure to find something like that out here in the Otsuko Mountains. What an amazing find, guys. You know, it's... And there's old mines all over the Ochico Mountains. There's old log cabins, old homesteads, just all kinds of things to find out here. You know, if you live anywhere in Oregon or close to Oregon, I would uh, highly encourage you to come and, you know, talk to somebody at the Historical Society, Chamber of Commerce, even me, um, help you get out to some of these places and check them out. And, uh, if you're too far, you know, just can't travel, I'll try from time to time to just video some of these cool old places like this uh, old log cabin. But uh, what do you think? Maybe I'll throw a roof on it and uh, pack in some goods and call it home for the rest of the summer. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Guys, Dan at Ochoco Bushcraft. Hope you like this little adventure and uh, please subscribe and watch upcoming videos. Take care, everyone.